I'm Morgan and today I'm going to be taking a first look at A Bachelor Husband by Ruby M. Ayers and I'm going to be examining like the physical condition of the book and non like bulk text elements of it. So first of all it says on the on the side here A Bachelor Husband by Ayers and then Grosset and Dunlap. And then on the front, it says A Bachelor Husband by Ruby M. Ayers. And something that's very interesting to me about this is that they're using the V symbol for where the, the letter U would be. And I'm curious as to why they made that decision. And then the first page is in remarkably good condition here. Um, oftentimes when I open it up, like there will be like, like um, markings from the previous owners. Um, and then here I turn and it says A Bachelor Husband. And then here is like the the title page, I think. I can't remember what this is called. Um, a Bachelor Husband by Ruby M. Ayers, author of uh, Richard Chatterton, The Scar, etc. Frontispiece frontis by Paul Starr. And then it has a cute little design here. And it says, New York, Grosset and Dunlop Publishers, made in the United States of America. And then I turn the page and this has the copyright information. And it says copyright 1920 by W.J. Watt and Company. Printed in the United States of America. Two feathers. I wonder who feathers is, like who it's dedicated to. Um, and then there's the chapter one. And so I'm gonna go towards the back of the book and see if there's anything else included. And it looks like, okay. At the back, it has like information about other novels that are available, I think. And then, so I'll read you this, I suppose. The, no the novels of Mary Roberts Reinhardt may be had wherever books are sold. Ask for Grosset and Dunlap's List. Dangerous Days, a brilliant story of married life. A romance of fine purpose and stirring appeal. The amazing interlude, illustrations by the Kinneys. The story of a great love which cannot be pictured. An interlude, amazing, romantic. Love stories. This book is exactly what its title indicates. A collection of love affairs, sparkling with humor, tenderness, and sweetness. K, illustrated, L.K., sorry, K. Lemoyne, famous surgeon, goes to live in a little town where beautiful Sydney Page lives. She is in training to become a nurse. The joys and troubles of their young love are told with keen and sympathetic appreciation. The Man in Lower Ten, illustrated by Howard Chandler, Chandler Christie, an absorbing detective story woven around the mysterious death of the, the Man in Lower Ten. And then When a Man Marries, illustrated by Harrison Fisher and Ma Mayo Bunker. A young artist whose wife has recently divorced him finds that his aunt is soon to visit him. The aunt, who contributes to the family income, knows nothing of the domestic upheaval. How the young man met this situation is, ent is entertainingly told. The Circular Staircase, illustrated by Lester Ralph. The occupants of Sunnyside find the dead body of Arnold Armstrong on the circular, circular staircase. Following the murder of a bank, the murder, a bank failure is announced. Around these two events is woven a plot of absorbing interest. The Street of Seven Stars, photo play edition. Harmony Wells, studying in Vienna to be a great violinist, suddenly realizes that her money is almost gone. She meets a young, ambitious doctor who offers her chivalry and sympathy, and together with world-worn Dr. Anna and Jimmy, the waif, they share their love and slender means. And then Grasset and Dunlop, Publishers, New York. I'm going to turn the page. Oh, and then it has more more uh, novels, and these ones are Ethel M. Del Ethel M. Dell's novels. May be had wherever books are sold. Ask for Grosset and Dunlop's list. The Lamb in the Desert. The scene of this splendid story is laid in India and tells of the lamp of love that continues to shine through all sorts of tribulations to final happiness. Great Heart. The story of a cripple whose deformed body conceals a noble soul. The Hundredth Chance, a hero who worked to win even when there was only a hundredth chance. The Swindler, the story of a bad man's soul revealed by a woman's faith. The Tidal Wave, tales of love and of women who learn to know the, know the true from the false. The Safety Curtain, a very vivid love story of India. 
The volume also contains four other long stories of equal interest. Grasset and Dunlap Publishers, New York. I think, like, I'd be interested in trying trying to get a, ha a hold of a copy of Great Heart because I, like, I, I'd love to see, um, what's the word? I, I feel like one of those things that is, like, important is how, like, telling the stories of disabled people from different time periods and I, I think it's, it would be interesting to see how this is, port like, how this ends up being portrayed, um, especially considering, like, a lot of the challenges that were faced by people who were dif disabled and differently abled in, like, the early 20th century. Um, and then there isn't any other, like, writing here, because when I go here, it's like, blank page, blank page. So that suggests to me, first of all, that this was probably not a library edition because the I've had multiple books that have like a bunch of like stuff on them that were library editions. So I, I'm curious to know who the previous owner of this was because this is in very good condition. Like it doesn't have like writing on it. It doesn't have like really beat up, worn, like how do I put this? Like this part here is still attached, which suggests to me that it hasn't been opened and read very often. So I am curious as to why this particular copy didn't seem to get a lot of use throughout the years. Um, but yeah, that is a first look at A Bachelor Husband by Ruby M. Ayers. And stay tuned for me to, I suppose, like start actually reading the book. Have a great day.